<laughs> What's it doing? I'm doing class one with me. Oh yeah, we're waiting for that? Yeah. No? No. They know what time their lessons start. Uh, okay, right, so uh, we have chosen the American company, Duncan, and about their expansion in the UK. Uh, in this presentation, we'll be talking about how they can improve their current campaign, the objectives that we, that what objectives they have for each other, the different types of key messages that we want to mm, show. That's going to be a fancy thing, but, um, and how they will reach and engage their various audiences. Um, so the history of Dunkin'. In, Dunkin' Donuts was founded in 1950 by William Rosenberg. <laughs> just before it was brought over by Allied Lion. I'm sorry, I need a minute. Okay, um, I'm just going to start this slide again. <laughs> so, the history of Duncan. Duncan Donuts was founded in 1950. Famous children around the world. And the charity Joy focuses mainly on Asia and the United States. And the Magnum itself. It links in really well with America because the uh, American slogan is America runs on Duncan. So, you know, promoting our American is kind of really within what we say in their slogan. In the UK, uh, as stated, it had a failed expansion already, but they had a partnership with Liverpool for four years. But that ended because of some controversy, so they got pulled out. Uh, they also had, uh, they've, they've got now small stores in major cities. They have eight, uh, as seen on the map. And then there's also one in Cambridge, Boyd Green, and St. Albans. Uh, and they actually still, in the UK, have the slogan, America runs on Duncan, to try and fit that American theme. Uh, Duncan's main competition is Krispy Kreme, because everyone knows Krispy Kreme is the like, number one. UK donut brand. Uh, Costa Coffee is the main competitor here for coffee, and in the US it's Starbucks by a mile. Like Costa doesn't even exist. Uh, so there are three main competitors that we have to deal with in the UK. So what I've done is I've done a SWOT analysis within their brand image. So this is a, a short video about the different stores around the world and how they differ. Uh, the full start. This is a so this is an American cup, and this is the UK. You can see that they're different. So Dunkin' Donuts in America has very uh, large open um, stores. Uh, they have a drive through as well, with loads of options of coffee and donuts. Um, there was no one in there when I went because literally everyone went through the drive through uh, as you can see. Uh, it's stuck with the like colour theme of like orange and pink with you know, American logos and stuff. And um, really, really cute. They have, um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> they have uh, mobile orders, which don't actually have in the UK. They do breakfast, which again, don't do in the UK. They also sell their products as like takeaways in their stores and also in stores around America like Walmart and Target. Uh, also across the street, also owned by Duncan, is Baskin Robbins. It was closed in the winter, of course, because we're going to serve ice cream. Also, during the uh, also my travel to America at both airports when I went there and back. They had a, a self-service Duncan Express, so they're expanding in like this short time. Uh, at Germany, they focused mainly on donuts. They rarely had coffee. Um, they also had special promotions on their donuts, which, like here, you can see with films. They also serve breakfast, uh, but it's a very small store, not really. It was in the middle of a train station, so it was just a quick pop and go. At Austria, 
Um, it's a little bit bigger. It was in a, um, a mall, uh, more seating, but again, not many. Uh, large collection of donuts. Oh, oh no. <laughs> So um, they also don't use the slogan, um, America runs on donuts, they use coffee and more. And then in the UK, they have no indoor seating, just very few outdoor, with the um, like Coffee Express, because it's a small store, although there is no large Dunkin' Donuts in the UK. Um, with a small store, they had a small variety of donuts and drinks. <coughs> they also served uh, or sold merchandise about Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, however, they used the slogan of America runs on Dunkin'. Uh, and across the street as well, they have a Baskin Robbins which is open. So our campaign, uh, its goals is to merge the two brands of Baskin Robbins and Dunkin' Donuts. So obviously it's changed the name now to just Dunkin', which is what our idea was to kind of start off us. Um, and so in one store there would be ice cream on one end and you know coffee on the other. So instead of having stores closed and losing money, because that was the main reason why they left, the market in the last years because of high rent. They would now save rent and just close it up and instead put different flavors of donuts or whatever, or iced coffee. Um, edge out the competition. So Costa is, it's not really like fun or anything, and Starbucks is very like hipster and you go in, you just have a MacBook and whatever. But here we want it to be fun and like enjoyable because we've got orange, we've got pink, it's bright colors. Um, you know, like it's fun, we want to entertain people basically. Um, and our goal is to open up like quick access to locations like the one in Baker Street. Just small, you just go in, get out, pop a copy. Um, and we're going to do that with positive PR, you know, advertising and stuff. So the objective is more stores, increase awareness. Um, so the key messages that we want to send to the audience is that we're fun, we're humorous, we're like a an entertaining company rather than just a, you know, you go in for a mocha latte and leave. Um, and then we're also going to serve different alternatives because they don't do that in uh, any of them which I went to. So gluten free, like vegan, um, sugar free because obviously in the UK we've got sugar tax and the whole point of Dunkin' is to have cheap, like quick coffee. So it doesn't really count, it's just quick. So um, with lower calories and all that. And with this like special type of brand, we're going to like change the font because Dunkin' is using like thick bubble letters, but we're going to use thin to like show that you can lose weight, I guess. Um, and how we'll reach them using social media and like videos. The first one, uh, when we first release what's happening, we're going to release a teaser trailer to show we're opening up in London. And so we will have this, it's only like five seconds, so it's perfect for like at the beginning of YouTube videos, just like a quick thing, or on Instagram, when people just want to quick pay attention, and it's just like quick flashes of images. Uh, we're going to use the slogan, the best things come back around, because it's like Dome in a circle, London's a circle, and also we've left and come back, so they're probably thinking about them again. Um, and it's just like a cheap, quick way to get the word out and spread the message that we're back. Um, the big uh, advertising thing that we're doing for this is the hashtag Dunk for Donuts, which is where we're going to film a big event in the Olympic Park, and we're going to get like as many people as we can to jump in the Olympic pool, and we're gonna like throw like rubber rings, like donuts in there, and then outside we're gonna have like three Dunkins. So it'll be in the summer because you know it's normally always cold, but in the summer will be better. And then we're gonna have like a big event, we're gonna have like a, a band and whatnot. And it's just like a, a cool thing we can film, get like kids smiling, drinking donuts, and you know, a cool thing you can go, hey, you wanna go jump the ball? You can. Um, and yeah, uh, it's also for the Joy Charity, which is a charity that Duncan's been using um, ever since they started up as a franchise. Uh, it's basically a charity for like uh, Asian Focus. children in Asia. That's the one. Um, and we don't use that in the UK, it's only in America. So we could expand that in the UK to show that we're you know contributing to the whole thing. And then we have the printed advertisement. Uh, we're gonna go for the like keep calm campaign. 
So because it's like going on for the whole British London opening up thing, we're going to do keep calm and dunk in. You know, play on words on both terms. Uh, we're going to like merchandise and have on buses and just like around London stuff. Uh, we're also going to sell like or like just give away mugs at the um, free thing because you know who doesn't love a mug? There's also the campaign of Don't Dip, Dunk. <laughs> it's a like comedic fun and it's a play on British culture. Uh, there's a Instagram boomerang and it's basically on the message of British people dip their tea, um, biscuits in tea, but we want to like get people to dunk their donuts in coffee. So we're gonna put like posters having like instead of you know tea and biscuits, you have a dunk. It's like all the way. It's just ridiculous. It's just out of this thing. And then you know. Dress like that if you want to, it's not necessary. <laughs> um, so I came across two Mintel reports that a variety of flavour of coffees and we're trying to push that forward as well. So to conclude, uh, the main points that we want to address is that we're raising awareness because like not many people know about Dunkin' Donuts or the fact that it's just Dunkin' that they sell ice cream and we want to get the word out, so lots of advertising. Uh, the merging of the two brands to save money and to just expand the market because if people don't like coffee, they like ice cream. Dunkin's place <coughs> um, with multiple advertising platforms in you know, public, social media, print, um, starting with London stores and adding new flavours such as gluten free and whatnot. Uh, and then slowly progressing to larger stores throughout the UK. But of course, we want to focus on London first, that's where we're going to get most of our like, internet buzz. Well, Boom. well done, guys. Well done. Any questions? Obviously, but just go ahead. <laughs> well done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Do you want me to press record? No, it's a camera. You want to get a bit of a... It's recording now.